everybody, this is Nicolette Mason from Marie Claire's Big Girl in the Skinny World and I'm here today on Hello Style answering some of your very timely questions about fall fashion. This episode is inspired by user Honey Flowers who asked about some of the key trends for fall and how to wear them. Navigating the catwalk when there are so many new trends every season can be so daunting, especially when you're a big girl like me and not all of the trends, no matter how hard I try, will work just as well on me or a body like mine as they do on the waves on the catwalk. But there are some trends this season for fall that I am so excited about wearing and I absolutely cannot wait to get into them as soon as the temperatures start dropping and here they are. One of the key looks I'm so enthusiastic about right now is metallics. I'm a little bit shiny today, which is just a hint at how it's gonna be for the next couple of months. But metallics are a major runway trend from Matthew Williamson all the way through Milan and Paris, New York, so many designers are doing this as a key part of their trend. One of my favorite ways to wear this trend is by replacing my colorful skinny jeans from spring and switching them up with a metallic pair. Simply Be has an incredible pair of gold metallic jeans that are gonna fit so seamlessly into your wardrobe. All you have to do when you have a major statement on trend piece, like a skinny metallic jean, is throw on your favorite white t-shirt, black, gray, maybe another neutral that you're excited about, maybe a statement necklace and you're good to go. It's really all you need to have a chic on-trend outfit for fall. Another key trend this fall is the peplum. We saw it in spring, we even saw it last fall. So this is a trend that's not even really a trend because kind of like skinny jeans that it were first reintroduced a few years ago, they're here to stay. A lot of curvy girls are a little bit intimidated by a peplum because they think it'll add volume to their shape. But the truth is that a well-placed peplum that hits you at the waist and flows over your hips is actually gonna emphasize your curves in a really amazing way. If you're looking for the hourglass shape of say, a Christina Hendricks, that's one of the ways that you can achieve it with a look that's really, really on trend for fall. One of my favorite peplum pieces this fall is from Swan by Evans, which is a line by Clemens Ribeiro, a design duo from London, that are doing a bridge collection for the high street label Evans out of London. They ship to the US, they make such cute clothes, and it's really, really runway derivative without a runway price. And that's something I can definitely get behind. One of my other favorite places to look for peplums this season is ASOS. They're one of my favorites every single time I'm trying to look for a new piece of clothing, and this is no exception. They hit the trends on the right point at the right price point. You can get incredible deals by looking out for promo codes or waiting for their very frequent sales. And Peplums are all over the place. Another trend being recycled from the past for this fall is the ladylike trend. It's very perplexing how this gets <laughs> to be the trend that's deemed as feminine and ladylike, but it is. It's classic, it's taken from Jackie O. We can think of styles that harken back to the 60s, 70s, even earlier, and they're being reintroduced every year, and they're flawless. The truth is, a trend that comes back in style, like the ladylike trend, is something that you can invest in, and maybe spend a couple extra dollars, save a little for a classic piece that's going to be reused from year after year. One piece that I really, really love is actually from Rachel Zoe's Lux line for QVC. It's $100, it's a tweed jacket that looks a little bit like Chanel, but without a Chanel price tag. And I promise it's not gonna go out of style. Of course, if you've been paying attention to the runway trends, you can't avoid color stories. Last season, it was all about tangerine and citrus tones. And for fall, it's actually about purple. Think of purple as your new black for the season. Your blazer, pencil skirt, shift dress, any of the staple items that you might wear in a neutral color can be replaced by purple. And I know so many girls are afraid of wearing bright colors, but the truth is having a bold color is gonna only attract positive attention to you. Honestly, it brings such enthusiasm and vibrance to your look that you're gonna look amazing. And I don't know why anyone would avoid color. It's all about finding a color and a shade of purple that's complementary to your skin tone. My favorite thing about shopping for a color story like purple rather than a trend like brocade or fringe is that it's really easy to shop within your wardrobe. You don't have to go and buy new. You can find pieces from years before that you haven't looked at in ages and think, okay, purple, this is what we're working with and go to town. I have so much fun shopping in my own closet and finding pieces that I wore in middle school that I might not have thought of twice until, hey, Prada said purple's in again, so I'm gonna do it. 
As the temperatures start dropping, I'm looking forward to getting a little bit more creative with my wardrobe and working in some purple, some brocade, metallic, into my looks for fall. And I'm really excited to see what you guys are all wearing. So don't forget to comment, share what you're wearing as a big girl in the skinny world in your hometown. And subscribe, leave a comment. I might be answering one of your questions in an upcoming video.